Hey, Composing Gloves here, and today we're going to talk about oscillation, specifically compression and rarefaction. Building off of what we just talked about with sound, we need this medium thing. So, what is sound? Well, sound, let's, uh, let's go into another FL and bring this forward. Okay, so here I have a tone generator. It's actually a VST. You may be familiar with it. It's called Citrus, and it's going to generate some sound for us. So we're going to play a note, and it's going to show up here. This is called an oscilloscope. We're going to talk about that later. It just gives us a nice visual for something that I want to show you. So we play it, and we get this thing, and this is what sound. If you graph it over time, and you graph its amplitude, so here it gets softer and louder, you get this great shape. This is called the sine wave. We're going to talk about this idea later. Right now, we're going to talk about... Uh, compression rarefaction and simple harmonic motion. So simple harmonic motion or oscillation, they're, they're, they're different things, but uh, they're sort of the same thing. So when something moves back and forth, that's just, that's oscillation. All it has to do is move back and forth to get oscillation. And if you do this high, fast enough, you get a whole bunch of interesting thing, uh, things happen. It's a really, it's a really hot topic. So here we've got some sound and we can see that we've got this down and up and it's going back and forth and it's going so it's doing this at a rate so many times per second in this case it's actually 380 times it does one complete up and down motion and i'm going to i want to talk about this acoustically because this is really important so your speakers will receive this information and when it goes down it's saying suck in take the speaker suck it in so the air that's right in front of your speaker goes holy crap there's a whole there's an area here where there's lower pressure and sound is not friends with area or nature is not friend with areas of lower pressure. It wants everything to be equal. It's an equal white rights advocate. So it goes and it says, oh crap, quick, uh, fill this space up. So it fills the space up and then the speaker goes, I, I got you. Just kidding. That's not how it happens. But it, we, it gets a signal that says, go forward. So it goes forward and the air goes and so now it's got an area of high pressure, really high pressure. So now the now nature's like, ah, oh, jank, we just got screwed over by the speaker. So we need to push the air this way and create, because this is high pressure, so we need to create some low pressure over here. And then, so it does that. And then the speaker receives another signal that says, oh, get sucked in again. And nature's like, freak, man, this guy keeps going in and out. And so it goes through this thing where we're creating an area of low pressure and high pressure. And these waves, they go out in a pattern. And they lose power. Whoops. I bet that'll be kind of noisy. They'll lose power as they go farther out. So that is what compression is, rarefaction is. So when you're hearing sound, you're hearing these waves of higher pressure and lower pressure reach you. And your ear, your ear has these three bones, muscles. They're, they're one of the two. And there's like the hammer, the stirrup, and some other thing. And then you have this uh, thing called the cochlea in your ear. And all these little pieces work together to to basically take that that pattern that your ears perceiving and it goes and it hits it and it it basically transforms it's called transduction it transforms it into neural impulses that your brain can now understand now we're not going to talk about transduction in this video uh because it's sort of a thing but this idea of compression refraction is really important and so we can take this idea of air compressing and expanding and we can move it over to things like voltage, which we're going to talk about later. But it's important to understand that things will go down and up. They will have a two cycles. And the rate at which these cycles happen will influence the pitch of the sound. It will tell us how we hear the sound. So that's compression rarefaction in a nutshell. I'm trying to think. There's one other thing I wanted to point out to you about this deal. Because it starts getting really complicated. Oh yeah, and I remember. So we have this, uh, we have these areas of pressure, right? These are largely responsible because right now we're thinking about this from a point standpoint where we're standing still, and these areas of pressure uh, hit us. But when we're moving, things get complicated. And think about this: what about when the sound source is moving? Uh, there's, there's there's all these additional elements that create our acoustic space when you're moving in a space. It, there's all these additional elements when like what if that thing is spinning what if there's all this additional stuff that has all these extra implications that attribute to psychoacoustic effects they attribute to a lot of special effects you may have heard and it's important to keep in mind that those ideas are linked so it's really important to get this idea that there's high pressure and low pressure and these zones move out and that oscillation this up and down motion or back and forth motion is present in anything that you're going to technically hear 
So we have this up and down. And when they get to the point where they're moving so fast that you can't hear them, they start exhibiting other properties that we still use for other things. And they're for low frequencies where they're so low that you can't hear them. We're going to talk about the hearing range in another video, but I just wanted to have this compression rarefraction thing really sorted out. So if you have any questions about that, drop them in the comments. Granted, they're probably going to be answered in later videos if they're like that. I mean, if you didn't, if you didn't understand, you know, feel free to, to voice yourself. Um, and that's that. Subscribe and have a blessed day. Opposing force. Reversing. Let's <laughs> go.